Happy Homebrew Wednesday. I am back for another year. This is the first proper video I think I've made. I've done some beer reviews. Got loads of beer reviews stored up. I need to get edited and up. And other than the kind of birthday bash um, video, I haven't really done a, I haven't really done anything at all regarding videos or anything. So still got um previous like green the glass videos to edit again, but I just haven't gone near a computer. Work is crazy at the moment, and I just don't want to be, after I finish sitting in front of the computer all day, I do not want to be sitting in front of a computer all evening. No thanks. So you can see in the background, this is actually a brew day today. I didn't get brewing over the weekend. This is a Monday. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to, but the weather was just atrocious. It was, the storm blew through and it was just too windy and wet and snow and everything coming down. So I put it off and I'm actually off on Monday today. So I thought, yes, I'll, let's do it. Um, I started at about half three, four o'clock, something like that. So, um, so we're just going basically brew in a bag, really old school, no sparge, just that, and then we'll get it up to the boil, and then chuck the hops in. This is just a wheat beer, like a a hefeweizen is what we're going for. I've got a real kind of thirst for hefeweizens, and I, I, I actually went to little the other day to see if I can pick up some Franzi Canner. And I went in and I came out with everything except bloody what I went in for, so I still haven't got any. But um but yeah, so I've got some M twenty as well I'm gonna use in that. I'm gonna hit that about twenty two, twenty three degrees. I don't really want to go in too clovey. So I think maybe twenty we'll go we'll say we'll say twenty two at the hast. It's gonna be a, not a big batch, it's gonna be a kind of maybe a fourteen litre batch. I just don't wanna do too Fill the full keg and then it just ends up crap. So this is kind of a test run. And if it works, I'll test the yeast as well. Um and see if it works so I'll know for the next brew. Exactly. And that'll be kind of toward the summertime, hopefully. I'll know exactly what to do. So just holler tie hops going on it as well. So yeah, um I've got loads of videos I still need to edit and put up, but as I say, I thought I would do a quick video just to say hello because I haven't seen haven't seen anybody I haven't really, I've started watching YouTube videos again, thankfully, on the TV back there. It's good having that in here, because then I can watch stuff. And, um, I obviously haven't been making any. I haven't really even commented. Lots of people commented on that uh, birthday bash video. I apologize if I haven't got around to replying yet. But again, it like, took me to about two days ago just to just to do anything on YouTube at all, so. <laughs> but anyway, never mind all that. I've got some beer mail. Some beer mail has landed this week. So, uh, let's have a look. I haven't actually opened it yet. So this is from Rick Shaw, and I've obviously taken my address. I don't want you, you normos, find out where I live. Um, even though most of you do, actually, you already know. So yeah, this is from Rick Shaw. I know this is from Rick because this is the box I sent him beer in. So, how the hell do you get into it? Maybe it's down. So let's cut into it and see what he sent me. Whoa. Okay. I'm sitting quite low down right there. Okay, what have we got? Bottle conditioned old ale. 7.3%. 7.3%. Uh, I don't know if these are, I think these are bottle conditioned. I'm not sure. That's the first one. Second one is a triple, 7.6%, bloody hell, bloody hell, Rick. Last time you sent me beer, they're all like 3%, 3.5%. 7.6% I am looking forward to that one, I have to say. And then finally, it's a stout, 5%. So, three beers, very nice indeed. Thank you very much, Rick. Let us get the box over there, and then let's have a look at the second box. Now, the second box is a little bit bigger. So I'll maybe actually move the camera. Let's see. Okay, so this box, this is a big old beer mail box. This is from David DTS 1953. I believe this is his handle. Let's get it open. Very generous, David. Okay, that's it cracked. There's funny looking packing material. It's not a shirt. Shirt? You've sent me a shirt. Okay, fair enough. What's this? What is this? What? Ah. What? 
going on. You know what I think? There's been a mistake here. I think you might have sent, accidentally sent me your dirty washing. It's smelling a little bit ripe, so I'm going to have to leave it. Oh no, hold on. There's actually something going on underneath. What's this? What's this? Oh wow. Grains. It's more grains. There's yeast in there. There's hops. You know what this is? This is the malt miller kit for the hokum stump. One of my favourite beers from last year. David, that is beyond generous. That's all I can say. Thank you very much. You really didn't have to. Um, I will definitely be brewing this. I can't wait it. I love that beer. Definitely be brewing this. Definitely be throwing a few your way as well too. So thank you very much. Again, too generous. Okay, so just a quick update then on what I'm going to be doing this year. What the plan is. I think um, last year was kind of trying to nail down a few recipes that I can re-brew all the time so I can have it on the keyser. I think I've done that and um, for a few of them there's a few more I want to try. I think this year it's going to be definitely brew more lagers because now that I've finally finally cracked the kind of the pilsner the lager with that RO water I think um, I'm going to start brewing them especially this time of the year. Um, I actually did a brew last weekend and then I realised during the brew day that I didn't have any lager yeast which was a bit stupid so I've, I've used USO5 but I think I'm going to do another lager next week for the live brew day probably New Zealand Pilsner or maybe just a normal Pilsner and then the plan is just to leave them put them in one of the kegs there and then just leave them out in the garage and just let them condition over time because I never have four beers on at the same time anyway plus that's a small batch also got another small batch um, on that's in the keg now. It's not going to last. So we have plenty of space. So I think, yeah, definitely more Pilsners, more lagers now that I can do that. And I think we'll have another crack at the New England IPA, which is just, it's, that is a difficult style for me to, to try and nail down. I have failed pretty much every time I've tried the brew one. But um, so yeah, we'll try and do that. And then we'll maybe, as I said, the wheat beer, I'm going to try and do, get a good wheat beer as well too. Basically nail in down um, a beer from most of the styles that I would drink normally. I tend not to brew wheat beers. I haven't brewed any in a couple, good couple of years, just because it's as easy to go to the shop. It's not something I drink all the time, but if I'm out and about and I see one, I'll get it. And then I always enjoy them. So, But yeah, if I can nail that. And then it's just a case of nailing a stout as well too. I've never really kind of, I've done lots of ones that I've liked, but I've never really had a favourite. So just trying to find that out as well. But Pale Ale's IPS, yes, I know exactly what I want and what I'm going to do. So so that is the plan. Um, The only other thing then would be trying to, I've done like a test of this as well. There's probably, there's a video coming on. It's trying to get as much as possible out of the robo brew, so that means trying to get two beers at a time. I want, or I would like to get a bigger boil pot, um, but I'm kind of waiting for, I'm biding my time. So until I actually get one, I need to figure out a way to, to basically get two brews out of one. So I maxed it out in the last brew, or the brew before, and then I got a little kind of, probably about 17 litres into the keg and, and I filled another keg with another 10 or 11 litres maybe. I'm not sure the exact figures but it was like half a keg or something like that. So. But if I can do it and then work out a way to do it so that I can probably get as much grain into the pot as possible and then just liquor it down to up to whatever it is, uh, 36 litres, something like that. I don't know. but. And we'll have two fermenters going at the same time. I'm sure it's possible. I know I know it's possible. Um, but I need to figure out how to actually achieve it, how to do it. So yeah. I mean it would be better just getting a bigger boil pot, to be honest. But that'll come at some point. I'm not in a rush, as I said. I like doing homework and like doing not rushing into things like that. So But yeah, that is it. Happy homebrew Wednesday. Hopefully we'll get back to releasing videos every week, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm still busy on work. But yeah, until then, see ya.